the Play Properly channel again. Another rematch. Round three, fight! <laughs> so this is a rematch to the rematch. Uh, I, of course, am playing the Thieves and the Superheroes. And Larry's playing the... Killer Plants and uh, Aliens. So... This is uh, initially uh, conceived as a head-to-head -head matchup of the two best factions that we thought could make victory points from some other method aside from the usual popping of bases. And as it turns out, we think that these two factions probably vie for the best faction combo in the game. Uh, I think they're pretty evenly matched. I certainly have played the uh, alien uh, plants combo a lot uh, back when it was newer, uh, which is quite a while ago. Uh, but I definitely played the combo a lot. It's a very powerful combo. Uh, of course, this deck is a lot, well, it's essentially brand new. It's, it's brand new to me. I, I've only started playing with uh, the Munchkin stuff very recently. Yeah, and you, so, were, you were kind of, you were experimenting with Thieves, and you, first you didn't like them, but you found a combo that worked well. Well, this is yeah. true. So the very first game of the, with Thieves that I played, I kind of just picked Thieves at random and didn't really look in the deck at all. I just was playing it. And it just was terrible, absolutely terrible. Uh, all the cards I was getting from the Thieves deck, you had to discard treasure cards in order to power certain things. And I wasn't getting any treasure cards, so I was like, well, this is stupid, it's pointless. And then at the end of the game, we were packing up, uh, I saw the boss, and I never got the boss in the game, so I saw the boss for the first time, and the boss is the Master Thief, who gives you, or she gives you, a one uh, uh, talent draw from the treasure deck every turn, uh, as a talent, and uh, so that's like an extra draw a turn, that's pretty crazy powerful, so I uh, paired it with the superheroes, so that the mild-mannered citizen can pull the... Um, the Master Thief quickly. It's all about getting the Master Thief out. So, uh, anyways, here we are. We've played uh, the first the first matchup of this uh, combo. It was pretty evenly matched. Like, it, the game was going really well. It was a good game. It was very close. Uh, and then towards the end, we we goofed up. Both of us missed a mistake, a base pop that should not have popped. There was monsters on it. Anyways, long story. Watch the video. Lots of good stuff in the video, but we did uh, not play properly quite in that one. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone called us on it, and I was like, ah! Mm. So, uh, we just played uh, our rematch. We just finished it. And uh, in the rematch, the Master Thief uh, combo blew away the other... Yeah. It, it was uh, 18 to 10. An absolute blowout. Uh, Larry did make one minor mistake. He... he yeah, I got messed two, up. Two points. It was a, it was a two point and a little bit of wasted resources, but I don't think that it actually would have changed the outcome in any significant yeah. way. Just what happened is just I had a plan in my mind for that base, and then I got distracted. I went and did something else, came back, and then my plan was messed up. So yeah. and I didn't calculate it out, and yeah. it was I was a step behind basically. I was one step behind. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. uh, th there was a blowout. It was a fast mm -hmm. game, so we're like, well, you know, the evening's still. Uh, only moderately late, as opposed to being really late. So let's uh, let's play a second game. So yeah. the the main thing here, um, I keep saying that card games by their very nature are statistical in nature. So uh, to really get a sense of how good these decks are and how well they pair up against each other, uh, you gotta reiterate a couple times. And uh, this would be our third head to head yeah. of this mm. pairing. So. Uh, yeah, I guess we rock, paper, scissors and go from here, or should... Uh, Did I cut the decks first? Oh, cut, okay. Yep. Cut for luck. Yeah, your last cut was pretty good. <laughs> Excellent, I like that. Um, how do you, do you want to do rock, paper, scissors, or do you want to... Sure. Switch. Rock, paper, scissors, okay. One, two, three. Ha, gotcha. All right, so I go first this time. Uh, bases. Do you want me to do it? Yep. Okay. Uh, base, 23 Monkey Lab, 23 Breakpoint, uh, 4, 2, 1... Minions here, you have plus one power for each action played on them. Uh, most importantly, it's a two-point spread. Oh, ho, ho. 24, Road Plaza Mall. Interesting. When the space scores, each player gains one victory point for each minion that player has here. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah. Neither of us 
Neither of us have really heavy duty, um, minion decks yeah, fast this. little minion decks, but it's still an interesting pace. Okay, the crit, uh, it's a 20, it's a 4 2 2. Uh, so again, two point spread. Uh, when one or more minions here are destroyed, the player who destroyed them may place a plus one power counter on one of his or her minions here. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. What did you give me? Oh. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Five. So I hope you guys have watched uh, uh, one or two of the other videos that we've done. Uh, so I am going to, since I'm sitting beside or under the camera, I'm going to be trying to hold my hand out so you can kind of see what I've got. Can't see what Larry's got, but you know, hey. This is kind of the more, I think, novel deck combo anyways. I think a lot of people probably not think of it as a, a, a powerful combo, but I think it's... Yeah, I don't think most people possibly... thought of these. I mean, it's, I was quite surprised when you when you came up with this combination, just how good it is, so... Yeah, I think, uh, I think it might be... When it gets going, it, it just clobbers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I am starting. Yep. Are we ready to begin? Yep. So uh, I need to just absorb the situation here with uh, the bases. Uh, put my deck in there. Uh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to play an action. The action is swipe, draw a treasure card. Oh, that's interesting too. Put that there. That was my action play, my minion play. Okay, <clears throat> we'll play Mild Matter Citizen at the Rogue Plaza Mall. The Mild Matter Citizen says, ongoing, at the start of your turn, you may destroy this minion to search your deck for a minion of power five or more. Play it here as an extra minion and shuffle your deck. So obviously that's going to pull my Master Thief next turn. That's the core of this whole deck uh, combo. I find that it's exceeding... It, it's very rare that I don't have something in my starting hand that I can get the Master Thief out on turn two. Uh, occasionally it takes until like turn three or four, but you know, not usually. You gave me too good a cut. Uh, I didn't have the Master Thief herself in my hand, so that's a story. Oh yeah, that's right, that's happened last game. Yeah. <sighs> Actually, I drew it, I drew it as a yeah. first round draw. Yeah. I drew the first round. Okay, uh, so I, uh, I've done everything, I'm drawing two, I'm done, you may go. Alright, I'm gonna play Sleep Spores, playing a base on one of the player's minions here, minus one power. Cool. Put that on the crypt. Cool. And we'll then play a scout on the crypt. Interesting. Uh, I guess I should read what it says. Special, after this base is scored, you may place this minion into your hand instead of this card pile. And then I'm going to draw two. Okay, you're done? Yep. <clears throat> All right, so. Hmm. Interesting. So before I do anything else, at the start of your turn, you may destroy this minion to search your deck for a minion of power five or more. Play it here as an extra minion and shuffle your deck. Boom. Here comes La Master Thief. There she is. So she says, tell to draw a treasure card. Give me a good luck cut, please. And I'm drawing a treasure card. Fantastic. <clears throat> All right. Um, so that actually didn't. I haven't done anything yet. That was free. I haven't done anything officially. <clears throat> We're gonna play a fence at the crypt and discard two treasure cards. Boom. Victory point. Ding ding ding. There we go. First blood. It's, it's actually rare. Usually it's the invaders that come out first. Uh, that means my deck is off to a quick start. Uh, drawing two, one, and... Oh, wait, I haven't played an action? I've not played an action, have I? Did I? I'm, I know I'm... No, you haven't played an action. Spacing out. That was last turn. I haven't played an action. Do I want to play an action? Actually, I maybe screwed that up. No, I'm drawing one and two. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing a Sprout. I'll go into straight as card is starting your turn. You may search your deck for a minion of power three or less and play here as an extra minion. Shuffle your deck. So I'm going there. I'm then gonna play Budding. Choose a minion and play. I choose the Sprout. Oh, shit. Search your deck for a copy of that card and place it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. That's good. Vader again on the very bottom. <laughs> <clears throat> You're shuffling, so there you go. Yeah. Look at that. Vader right on the very bottom. Second <laughs> game in a row that's happened. Shuffling good. <laughs> it's my cutting. I'm, my, I, I'm beating you with my superior cutting skills. Yeah. So that's my minion and my action, and I draw two. You're, you can go. Okay, so I got the Master Thief out, so that means the very first thing I always do is activate the talent. Wait, there's nothing over here that I need to do, right? No. Okay, so we're going to activate the talent, draw my treasure card, see what it is. Interesting. <sighs> hmm. I got two cards in my discard. Um, yeah, that was a mistake last turn. Oh well, I made a very minor mistake. It's not going to matter. But okay, so at the monkey lab, I'll play the mind lady. Talent: Choose another player's minion. That minion's abilities are canceled until the start of your next turn. I will cancel the sprout's ability. So he doesn't get destroyed, though. He doesn't get destroyed. Oh, okay. But it slows you down a little bit. Okay. And... Yeah, a very minor mistake I made last turn, but... I'm kind of hamstrung on my actions at the moment, so... Yeah, I think I'll actually do this. So I normally, just for the people watching, I normally wouldn't play this card so early because it shuffles, but uh, actually I normally wouldn't play it, uh, well, actually I guess it's subjective. Anyways, I'm going to play it now because it doesn't really hurt anything. I don't really have much in the discard pile anyways. So Wand of Dowsing, draw two treasure cards, shuffle this card into the treasure card discard pile, and the treasure card discard pile into the deck. So basically what it does is it shuffles. What I would typically do is wait until I got the Ring of Wishing out and then shuffle the Ring of Wishing to get it up faster, but because uh, it's so early, we're just going to do it now. <clears throat> shuffle. And I'm definitely going to need a good luck cut on the treasure right there, this. Oh. Yeah? You needed more luck? I don't know. Is it luck? That's, that's the hard thing to know. We, we can't tell. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was this. It was a, 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 that's, that's quite the thing. Come on. Cut properly there. Cut properly. Oh, cut properly. There we go. <laughs> okay. This Good. This is There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, now I've lost track of what I've done and what I haven't done. I've played, right, played, played my minion. Uh, the action was the whatever, the wand of dowsing, I think. So at this point, I think I've done all I can. So at this point, I think I draw two, and I say, you may go. All right, so that doesn't happen because it's been blocked. But Correct. I'm going to play another Sprout. Exactly. So at least one of them will go. Mm -hmm. And then... It's got a bit of you and me at the same time, I think. But Good. Uh, I'm gonna play Jam Signal on Rhodes Plaza Mall. I'll play on a base. Yeah. I'll go to players in order's base ability, cool. so the base becomes basically I totally think. useless. Which works for me because my Master Thief is there, so yeah. no incentive for you to pop the base again. Yeah, no incentive team. for either one of us to pop that base. Exactly. Works mm -hmm. for me. 
And I draw two, and it's your turn. Sorry, I'm sitting back so you can't see this. Slide a bit. All right. Your turn's over. My turn begins, yes? Yep. Talent, Master Thief. Just making sure. Master Thief, draw a treasure card. Intro. Oh, wow. Interesting. Ha 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 That is a good draw. FYI. Okay, now decisions, decisions, decisions. So that's what I need. Got those. That's very good. I like that. Larry's not going to like that. Larry's going to be grumpy. Don't be grumpy, Larry Lewis. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's start here. So, first of all, for my action, I've been kind of hamstrung on actions, but I can do some now. For my action, I'm play Smuggling. Discard two treasure cards to gain one victory point. Shuffle your discard pile into your deck. Place this card on the bottom of your deck. So that's actually one I usually like to save for later, but because I've been hamstrung in actions, let's just get it done. Uh, and it does bring, the, the swipe is a good card, and the Mild Mounted Citizen is strategically useful. Um, so, uh, victory point for me. Ding, ding, ding. That's two. You need to save the first. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Play properly. Talking too much. Uh, there you go. Discard the two treasure cards. And then shuffle. And it's time. And this goes with the shuffle. No, it doesn't make you do on the bottom uh, after you shuffle. Right, so you shuffle your discard pile into your deck, then place it. Yeah, you're right. Good job there, Lewis. Just to play properly. All right, here we go. Get a bit of a shuffle gone. And the name for the channel is, uh, you know, during gaming with Derek, we're, That's where we talked about play properly. That's where we were back at my kid, actually. I think it was Andrew, start, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get him to play properly. Okay. But then, of course, you know, it just became a thing. Yeah, it just became a running, Give me a... running thing among us for playing games. Play properly. Alright, and then that goes to the bottom. There we are. Okay. That was my action. Right? Yep. Uh, talent, choose another player's minion. That minion's abilities are cancelled until the start of your next turn. I cancel that sprout. My okay. minion play now plays Tiger Steed. You may destroy a minion here of power two or less. I kill that sprout and I'm hamstringing his, his invader strategy and I like it. I like it. I like it. It's good. Uh, and I think I've done all that I can. I'm drawing two. I'm done. You may go. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. So he doesn't get killed. Correct. Uh, for those who watched the last game, I had this combo out as, as well. The Mind Lady and the Master Thief. Um, I really like the Mind Lady. She's so versatile. She can focus in on negating whatever the opponent's particular strategy is. I will play the Venus Band Trap mm. in Rhodes Plaza. Talent, search my deck for minion power two or less. Play yours an extra minion. Shuffle my deck. Excellent. And I'm just going to draw. I'm not going to use his ability. You're not going to use his talent? No. Okay. <clears throat> is it my turn? Yep. Uh, so first and foremost, Master Thief Talent to draw a treasure card. For my minion, I'm going to play Mild Mannered Citizen there. Uh, for my talent, choose another player's minion. I'm going to do the Sprout. For my action... I'm going to put the Kryptonite on Venus Mantra. My only weakness! Play a minion. This minion's abilities are cancelled. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> You're wrecking all my plans here. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this is the advantage of, yeah, you know, once you, you, you get to know deck combos and then you can... Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I know, it's working out very nicely. As I said, Larry is not going to be happy with me. He's going to be a little bit grumpy. 
<laughs> so, so much so he throws cards on the ground. Right? Yeah, yeah, throw cards on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a fit. I'm having a fit. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I've played a minion. I've played an action. I've drawn my treasure. I think I'm done. I'm drawing two. One, two. On my turn. Oh, you're slowing me right up. Done. I know. It's, it's great. I love it. I'm done. You can go. You know what? I think I'm just going to have to do that. <laughs> Beam up, return a minion to its owner's hand. Yep, that's good. And you return that's that back good. up to my hand. That's good. And then I'm going to play it right back down again. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. And that ends my turn. It's just, just delaying me. It's okay. Delay is good. We like delay. Ah, my turn? Yep. All right, so, uh, very first thing, Master Thief draw a treasure card. Okay, action. Strip bear, choose a treasure card in play, place it into your hand. The tiger steed is a treasure card. That comes back into my hand. I now play my minion, Tiger Steed. You may destroy a minion here of power two or less. <sighs> now, the Mine Lady. You can't, <laughs> you can't counter my counter this time. Just talent, choose another player's minion. <laughs> Larry's, Larry's gonna quit. <laughs> it's definitely all rolling my way this time. Um, minion action. Talent. Play the minion, play an action, play my talent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in my hand. I'm getting into discard territory here. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I don't see what else to do, so I'm drawing two. I am done. Oh, wait, I have to discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have to discard one card. Yeah, we'll discard the pickpocket. I find the pickpockets are generally garbage. I'm done, you may go. I'll play an invader for one victory point. There you go. Good job. Ding, ding, ding. So, so two points for me, one point for Larry Lewis. No bases have popped yet. Playing Tangled, playing a base, ongoing minions may not be moved to return to hands from any base where you have a minion, destroy the card at the start of your turn. From any base where you have a minion, wow, okay, so that's game wide. Oh, but it only lasts for one turn. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. Okay, your turn. Very interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. So, uh, at the start of my turn, uh, a mild mattered citizen, at the start of your turn, you destroy this minion to search your deck for a minion to power five or more play, and here is an extra minion to shuffle your deck. <clears throat> I know exactly who I want. Captain Amazing! Da, 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 da. So so Captain... Get the Crypt ability. Because that's what I've been trying to do with my Sprout. When one of your... Yeah, yeah, I totally forgot about it, actually. Uh, when one of your minions here are destroyed, the player who destroyed them may place a plus one power counter on one of his or her minions here. So I destroyed it. Yeah. So I actually... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Played properly. I completely forgot about that. So give... Uh... Yeah, give give uh, give Captain Amazing the power counter. It's appropriate. Okay, and so you so use, me... use your talent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Counteract my sleep spores. Exactly. That's the whole idea. Mm. <clears throat> um. So that was free. <clears throat> I haven't really done anything yet. Uh. So before 
uh, and do anything else. So you gotta be careful with the talent for the Master Thief because if you activate a talent, then you're already considered to be in play cards phase. So that would skip over anything that happens at the start of the turn. Playing properly. Exactly. I actually did that last turn. I should have probably pulled Captain Amazing last turn, but I forgot. Okay, so Master Thief, drawing a treasure. Interesting. So I haven't actually played my action or uh, my minion yet. So nope. this is mm. this is looking good. No, you got me basically screwed up. So this yeah, game is yeah. basically already <laughs> over. <laughs> That's good. I like to crush the spirit of my opponent so that they give up, and then it just makes things so much easier. Um, and the trouble is though to pop the base, I'm gonna have to. Okay, so I'm two points short of popping. Yes. Yep. Let's do it. Uh, radioactive exposure, destroy one of your minions to search your deck for a minion with more power. Play it there as an extra minion and shuffle your deck. Okay, so uh, I'll destroy the fence. And I'll find... Awesome guy. Good job, awesome guy. That's popping, popping zone, right? Oh, it's actually, yeah. yeah, it's just an extra two. You went from three to five. No, you really screwed me because I had plans to pop this base and you really screwed hey, me hey, up. Hey, and then I had plans over there and then I played my Vader hey, in the wrong hey, spot. Hey. My Vader was supposed to go there because I was going to search for all my collectors and just keep bouncing my Vader up. That's why I wasn't putting Sprouts there. Uh -huh. So basically, you totally just screwed me up and yeah, yeah, now you're popping the base on me. So it's yeah, like, excellent, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Come so this is where this this deck is just like he's gotten the right cards at the right time and he's basically controlled me. It's uh so I've that was an action. I I, I still haven't played a minion. So I'm just deciding whether or not I actually want to play a minion. Um Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm gonna play mild mannered citizen at the monkey lab with my minion. And uh yeah. I'm bitter already. <sighs> You're bitter already. We can play a third game tonight. <laughs> no, we, we come back and try. We'll let you have some sleep. So there's no excuses. Okay. Uh, card card play. Play card phase is done. Moving to scoring. Any scoring? Any, any specials? No. Okay. No. Boom. No. So we've already done the math. I think it's clear. Yep. I lost my Vader and discard, which basically screws me. One invader only. Yeah, that's enough to screw me, though. Okay. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so uh, when you're playing against the aliens, uh, you really want to get the invaders into the discard pile any way possible. It's difficult to get them back. I should have played them over here where I originally was planning on playing them. I could have popped that base. Yeah. Yeah. But I had my, my boss in my hand and I wanted to bounce him off and keep my boss there and try to win the base too. But. Okay, so I'm... Uh, Which I was trying to do with my sprouts, but you kept killing my sprouts. And... Well, you got two points, come on. <sighs> you have two. Six, six to three. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My plans were all shot. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the new base. The new base is... Oh, cool. The Greasy Spoon. It's a 20. Uh, four, two, one, two point spread. When an action played on this base would go to the discard pile, shuffle it into its owner's deck instead. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm drawing two, which means I will have to discard one. Sweet. Uh, let's look. Yeah, that one. Okay. Uh, you may go. So six points against three. Uh, the game is barely started. We've only we've only popped one base, and already Larry's quitting. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit too early for me to quit. <laughs> well, I've definitely slowed your strategy down. I've no, well, my uh, like I have to revert. To base popping now because I can't use yeah. my aliens. I don't have yeah. any other way to get my aliens out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're stopping him like every turn. Like, I didn't even bother asking. I'm zooming you are stopping. Right. Yeah, that's exactly. But this base is, is, is interesting, actually. So, because of that. Yeah, it's cool. I'm going to play 
Overgrowth. Playing the base, ongoing, starting your turn, reduce the break point of this base to zero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I can get that back into my. Yeah. My yeah, that's pile. cool. So he's actually done this to me before. Uh, it's a really good strategy to just play overgrowth on a base and just just get something down. Get something big down. Probably probably is five. What would be the? I forget what they're called. The five minus two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play a water lily. Oh, okay. Ongoing, uh, draw a card at the start of each of my turns, only use one of the lily's ability each turn. So, and I draw two, and it's your turn. Fabulous. Okay. Time for some revenge. I gotta totally think. I gotta totally change my strategy now. Yeah, I totally change my strategy now. Okay. Mild mannered citizen. At the start of your turn, you may destroy this minion to search your deck for a minion of power five or more. Play it here, blah blah blah. We've seen that before. The burst. So shuffling, shuffling. Now, I'm assuming that that game text also includes when the base pops, right? Yeah. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Match is played on this base, we go to the discard pile, show them to the deck instead. Yep, yeah, same thing as going to the discard pile. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Give, give me a cut. Mm -hmm. I haven't really seen that one come up too often, though. No, no, I've, uh, I've played it a couple times, but... It's... Well, all the bases are rare now. Look at how many bases. But it's it's my first break this game, so <clears throat> I exactly. kind of need a break like that because I need to get that card back in here. Yes. So. Okay. So that was that was like a, a freebie thing. Yep. Uh, it's sort of my turn. It's now into my turn. My play cards phase. Talent. Draw a treasure card. Cool. Um, there you use the talent there. At, so from now on, I will just say that unless I say otherwise, every single turn, my lady will talent the Venus Mantra. Okay. You were gonna do the water lily. I'm not gonna do the water lily. Sorry. Right. Nice try though. Mm -hmm. I haven't played a minion or an action yet. My action is going to be swipe, draw a treasure card. Okay, I will play cat burglar. Add the Greasy Spoon. Reveal any number of treasure cards from your hand. Place a plus one power counter on this minion for each one you reveal. I am revealing, revealing Dwarf Hireling, Magic Missile, Bag of Caltrops, Boot of Butt Kicking, and uh, Chest of Holding, five. So five plus three is eight. Plus, ongoing, after a minion is played on a base, you may move this minion to there. So I have 13, and you have 3. Uh, should, we should be at 16. Oh. Right? I think so. Oh, yeah, 16, yep. Good. Mm -hmm. Don't really scared your action there. Thank so you. you're now done. I think so. I'm just um, recalibrating here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got 10 cards in my hand. At the end of my turn before drawing, I now draw two. I have to discard two. That's easy. Pickpocket sucks. He's going in. And uh, now I have a difficult decision to make. Do you, do you want to go ahead or do you want me to wait? Well, I'm just going to draw my card first. So, so go ahead. Take a look. I have a difficult decision here for what to discard. These are strategic cards to, to hold on to. Uh, actually, it's... Oh, no, sorry, I got that wrong. These are the strategic cards to hold on to. This is just a good card. That's a very good card. Okay, actually that, yeah, I'm holding that. Uh, oh man, so one, two, three, four, five. So, okay, I'm discarding that one. It's, they, they're all good at this point, so here we go. All right. Crop circles, choose a base, turn each minion on the base to its owner's hands. Okay, uh, that's that's good. And then I'm going to play Scout. Okay. That ends my turn, break points down to zero. Nice. 
Anything specials? Nice. That was good. That was good. So actually, I could have had I any in, had I had any inkling or suspicion that he was going to do that. I could have held the burst over there and then pulled him over when the scout came down, but uh, no, no idea he was going to do that. So. Uh, he's gonna take a lead on me. Um, specials. Let me see. Uh, uh, this part, this base scout comes back into my hand. That goes back into my deck. Didn't spend any resources. Exactly. <laughs> Except for crop circles. Well, he spent time and actions, but that's okay. Because I don't have my evaders for the crop circles, and might as well just use yeah. it for popping the base. So. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that was good. That, that, um... <laughs> nope, I got nothing to do anything there. So good job, you get four. So you take a lead. It's Crisis now. Seven. Skip me back yep. to my hand. Yep. Yep. And that back is back my deck. In your deck? Shuffle it. Okay, shuffle it into the deck. Okay. That's your discard pile? That's the discard pile, yeah. Okay, okay Greasy Spoon's gone. While you're doing that, I'll pull a new base. It's the Funky Town. Won't you take me to Funky Town? It's 23. And it's a 4 3 2. So it's a one point spread. Once per turn, when, you, when your standard action directly affects one or more of your minions here, you may have it affect another of your minions here the same way. Oh. Uh, stupid Disco Dancers. So that's the way I could bounce two meters at once. Too bad one of them's on my Discord pile. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's. Pose. I, that's a complicated. I have to keep that through. But anyways, uh, where are we at? Three, that that four, was five, six, that was seven. your turn. Yep. So I'm presuming yep. you're drawing. Yeah, I drew. Did you drew? You already drew. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you're done. Done. Yep. Done. Done. Hundred percent. Okay. Um. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I think I've got nothing at the start of my turn. So I will draw a treasure card. Oh, terrible. Um, okay, expanded powers, my action. Expanded powers on the Master Thief, play on a minion. This minion has plus one power and can't be destroyed by other players. A little protection there. Obviously, my lady cancels me as nine trap, I got. <clears throat> minion to play now. I'm gonna play your capper and you probably get the most power possible for your hand that size. I'm being greedy. <laughs> I can get more. <laughs> I can get more. Alright, we're gonna play the burst at the funky town. Uh ongoing after minion is played on a base, you may move this minion to there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven before I draw. Sucks. All right, but that's what happens when you're drawing treasure cards every turn. Okay, so drawing one, two. I now have to discard three cards. There's a pickpocket. That's easy. That's one. Um, yeah, okay. I got two more to go. So in this case, you're generally trying to avoid to discard treasure cards because that's what you're trying to get. But now I'm getting to the point where I'm, I've got almost nothing but treasure cards in my head. Yeah, I'm gonna discard it. Clever Distraction. I'm discarding Clever Distraction. That's the one that lets you swap victory points if you uh, lose a base. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll get rid of Justice Friends as well. That's painful. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done, you may go. All right, I'm gonna play Sprout and Monkey Lab. Okay. It's burst coming over. Not now. Sleep Spores, playing a base on another pair of minions are minus one power. Sleep Spores? Oh. Hmm. And I draw two. Can I see your discard pile, please? Yeah. So remember, it's a rule that any player can examine any player's discard pile at any time. Uh, interesting. I thought there was more sprouts that were dead. Did you get a sprout back? Nope. 
There's two dead sprouts in there. Yeah, there's two dead sprouts. So he's got one in play, two dead, so that means there's still one left. Uh, I'm curious because if I release the Venus Man Trap, I was just curious as to what he'd be able to pull. So, uh, Master Thief, talent. Oh. Yep. Okay, so, for my uh, minion, I'm going to play a Cat Burglar at the Monkey Lab. Reveal any number of treasure cards from your hand. Place a plus one power counter on this minion for each one you reveal. <clears throat> All right, so. Magic Missile, Potion of Paralysis, Chest of Holding, Boots of Butt Kicking, Bag of Caltrops, Dwarf Firelang, and Potion of Cowardice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus three. It's 10 power for the Cat Burglar. Boom, isn't that a powerful deck? Sorry, how much do I add on there, sorry? Seven. So. Okay, so that's my minion. And then for my action, I'll play Magic Missile on the Mind Lady. Play on a minion talent. Place this card on the bottom of the treasure deck. Destroy a minion here, of power three or less. Boom, goes the Sprout. Uh, Magic Missile goes to the bottom of the treasure deck. And Larry has one sprout left somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. <clears throat> and the talent of the Mind Lady stays on Venus Mantrap. Uh, He's basically crippled my deck, so. Exactly. Uh, Mind Lady is fantastic. She's a really, really good card. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've played an action, I've played a minion, I've done my talent, I'm drawing two cards, one and two. I have to discard, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have to discard one card, whoa. Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to discard treasure, but I this is a regular card. It's draw a treasure card, so I don't discard it. Painful, but I have to do it. Done, you can go. Play Scout and Monkey Lab. Special after the base scores, I'm going to place this minion in my hand instead of the discard pile. And then I'm going to play Terraforming, swap, search for basic for a base, swap oh, the basic there it comes. play, discard all actions attached to it, shuffle the base deck, and we play an extra minion on the new base. So This is where we play. screwed up on that first game, but there's no monsters on this base, so it's a little more straightforward. We know which one I'm looking for. We do. Terraforming is possibly the best card. I don't know, I think it's possibly the best card in the whole game. It's pretty much a guaranteed uh, base to win. Plus, it's going to completely screw up the resources of the other player. It basically flips a base. Take a base that the other player had expended resources on uh, to win, and then you flip it and you win it. Of course, it's probably like the very last one I find. All these bases are upside down, too. It doesn't matter. Um, so Larry is in the lead, and he's going to continue to be in the lead. Like I said. Uh, he can do it. He's looking for uh, Winterfell. Uh, so Winter Squash, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, it's the only base in the deck... That has a two point spread with second place winning more points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I remember right, it's only 16 to pop. It's 16 to pop. It's uh, two for one, I think. So first place gets two points. And Finally found it. <laughs> there you go. So 
So there's Winter Squash. Very important. You want to make sure you have this base in your deck if you're playing this combo with aliens. So after you play a minion here, you may give control of it to another player. But the important thing, 16 breaks, so it's easy low break. And a 241 means uh, <laughs> I got all this power here, and it's going to mm -hmm. give me a measly two points, and Larry gets four for one scout. Mm -hmm. And you're going to power right back up. So you got 15, so this is going to be an 18. Yeah, actually, it doesn't pop by much, but it does pop. And I may play an extra minion on the base if I want to. Um, no, I think I'm good. Any specials? Uh, um, no. That's fine. I'll take my two points. Pick four. Here's five. Three, one. No, I'll go with one. No, I'll go with one. Got two. Scout yeah. moves back into my hand. I'll take my two. So Larry is well ahead now. He's taking. Mm -hmm. He was about to quit, and now. Yeah, I know. I was just like, I was about to give up because I was frustrated. He had me locked down, and I just kind of changed my thought and uh, just quit worrying about the invaders and just pop bases. Pop well, that's bases. the thing about the aliens is is they are very versatile because you can use their cards to power the invader strategy, or you can just use them to pop bases. Mm -hmm. they're, they're good both ways. But that's no moon. Yep, I draw two. That's your turn. At least I got rid of my lead, finally. <clears throat> That's true. <sighs> Alright, my turn? Yep. Starting? Starting now. Alright. Uh, no. Ten cards, so I don't have to discard. Just thinking if I've got anything there. No, I don't. Okay, so. Uh, talent, draw a treasure card. Okay, minion and action. Actually, delaying me, just, just so you know, like, if I had the one invader, if he didn't delay me on it, like, if I was, like, three away, it would just been second place on these two bases for me to win, right? Mm -hmm. That extra win means if I come in second with any base pop, I'm not going to win. <clears throat> I need one more invader point. <laughs> then basically I just spread myself out between two bases and I just basically wait until I turn to win. But by delaying me... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got one more invader somewhere in there, but... Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, I'm going to play... A cat burglar. Reveal any number of treasure cards from your hand. Place a plus one power counter on this minion for each one you reveal. Okay, here we go. Ready? Uh, we're going to go Potion of Cowardice, a Dwarf Hireling, Bag of Caltrops, Boots of Butt Kicking, Chest of Holding, Potion of Paralysis, and the Wishing Ring. Ding, ding, ding. I'm not playing it, but it's there. It's been revealed. Is you that know. seven again? You know I have it. It's seven. So the cap breaker was power ten. Boom. That's my minion play. Is the burst moving over? Yes, thank you. I was about to do that, but yeah, I guess the That's burst... That's figure what you were planning to do. Yeah, the burst is moving, so that gives me 15 like that. Boom. So there you go. So this deck actually can be fairly fast with dropping power later in the game uh, when you've got lots of treasure cards and you've got some cap burglars kicking around. I typically hold the cap burglars, I, I hold on to them for dear life until end game when they're very powerful. <clears throat> okay, so I know Larry desperately, desperately wants to activate his Venus Man Trap, so I've been holding the Potion of Cowardice, playing uh. Minion, Ongoing, this minion has minus two power and loses all abilities. <laughs> Whoa! That's so satisfying. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drawing two. One, two. 
And yeah, okay. I'm definitely discarding the secret stash because we don't need more treasure. You don't need a treasure in particular. I'm done. Here we go. So I just dropped 15 power into no moon. Yeah. I yeah. know. Um, and you probably got another Kemper under your hand, which dropped for 10 power, which allowed you to pop it. It's in your turn. So possible. no matter what, I got to play a minion there, which destroys what I wanted to do. Quite possible. And I've nullified his Venus Mantra. I've, I've pretty much been able to nullify uh, the entire Sprout strategy the entire game. Yeah. <clears throat> but of course, I actually got my last spread in my hand. Yeah, there you go. I don't really need the Venus flytrap right below this point. Yeah, that's fine. And I kind of need him back because that base is useless. I need him back in my deck <laughs> for base popping. So I'm going to disintegrate. Place a minion of power three or less in the bottom of his owner's deck. I'm minus power there you two. Go. There you go. Yeah, that works. Yeah. So that will get him to the bottom. That's good. Yeah, that'd be cool. So the next time I reshuffle. So that's a treasure card. It's a treasure discard. Yeah. As I was saying before, there was lots of treasure cards that do interesting, useful, utility things, like cancel abilities. And then I'm going to play the Supreme Overlord on no move. Oh, that's there. brutal. That's good. I'm mean, delaying him. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Delay, delay, delay is the name of the game right mm -hmm. now. And that's my two, and i got to draw two. <clears throat> yep, your turn. Okay. Very interesting. What's the power now? Is it 10? 20 yep. so, so 15 away. Okay, I'm just looking around. So I don't have anything start of the turn. So Master, Thief, Talent, Draw, Treasure. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, this is Nip and Tuck here. Nip and tuck. So this is definitely a much closer game, even though Larry was quitting in the beginning. Yeah, I was frustrated. I <laughs> well, I had just... You, you had me locked down. I, I, that I, was like I, the worst I've ever had. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I did drop a pretty uh, lopsided uh, beating the last game. Yeah. No, but the way you had me locked down, I was just frustrated as hell. That was just... Okay, so... How to proceed in the most efficient way possible. I've already drawn my treasure. As you can see, this is a pretty Indian. pretty good game played by a couple of veteran players. Definitely fun. So yeah, where were you at? So you're at 11, so if you mm. get three in second place, that puts you at 14, yeah. which puts you one invader from winning. Yeah. So... Let's do something else. I think that's actually the best thing to do here. Even though it'll cripple. I don't know what I'm playing my next turn. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good, I think. Okay. Three power. Do I want to do that next turn or this turn? Yeah, that's kind of dodgy. Definitely dodgy. So uh, I am going to play Offense. You may discard two treasure cards. We're going to discard the chest of holding and the dwarf hireling, which gives me a victory point. This gives me nine points. So I'm two yeah. points behind Larry now. Six and points away from winning. And the fence goes there. And then my action, as no doubt Larry is guessing, will be to play the Wishing Ring. Uh, that brings me to 10 points. I'm now one point behind him, five points from winning. No Moon will win me the game. Basically. Okay, Wishing Ring, game one victory point. Place this card on the bottom of the treasure deck. Bottom of the deck. All right. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's good. And now I'm back to the uh, threshold of not having to discard cards when I draw. Drawing three cards per turn is 
fun, but it creates some agonizing decisions. Okay, drawing. Uh, so what is, what is the total power here? It's 13. It's 13. Okay, fantastic. So drawing two, one, two. I'm done. You may go. Nice. And of course, I know he's got that cap brother in his hand, so I know he could probably drop down 10 power at any time to win that base. Something like that. <clears throat> so Larry strongly suspects that this is his last turn of the game. What are you going to do with it? <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. I mean, maybe it won't be. It's hard to say, right? I'm going to play a sprout. Okay. In there. Ooh. Oh, he's, 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 he's just groping for it now. <laughs> Must get Last Invader. Must get the Last Invader. I'm going to play Instagro, play an extra minion. Okay. I'm going to play a Collector. Maybe return a minion to power three or less of the base to its owner's hands. Dude, why would you do that? Okay. I'm just trying to slow you up. Well, that's an extra victory point for me. That's, that's like, you're powering my own invader strategy. Yeah. Okay. I'm just hoping that base doesn't pop okay. on my turn. No, it makes sense because the, as soon as I win that base, the game ends. Yeah, I'm just trying to slow up your power a little bit, hoping that it just won't keep that base from popping. Mm -hmm. yeah, I understand. So it's now at 12. I draw a 2. And it's your turn. Oh, I could use that card this turn. <laughs> This is, this is going to come right down to it. I think we're down to our last final one or two turns. Okay, so first and foremost, I should draw my treasure card and see what it is, because it might affect my decisions. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I need to count. Yeah, I could have figured so. Bounce of that fence could cost me in the very end too, but I'm just hoping to just delay. No, it it's now. it's it's a reasonable thing to do under the circumstances. Yeah. But if we end up tied and you got the fence still in your yes, hand. Yes, exactly. Mm. Yes, exactly. You know, it was it was a risk, but but if I left them out there and I played another minion on there, because I know I gotta have two minions on there, because I'm pretty sure there's an action that you can push one of my guys off of here. The special, I think it's in the treasure. There's one that can that finally got one guy there, you can push it off and get all the points. So I have to have two guys here. And Larry has learned my tricks. <laughs> Playing this is deck enough to, to kind of figure it out. So that's why I gotta make sure I got two minions here. That's why I kind of want to play a low minion, bounces one minion. Because mm -hmm. if you by this time, he's got through a lot of treasure cards, so there's a good chance he's holding onto the card. It's distinct possibility. And yeah, it's really good to know the treasure cards. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know, yeah. And you kind of play this game enough, you kind of know the other, the other decks and what they can do. It's really handy. Most people don't know the treasure cards, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have seven, I have five, so we're at 12, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Need 25. Um, need 13. What's that? Need 13 to pop. I need 13 to pop. Yes, okay. So. I will play. Um, minion Cat Burglar. Yeah, figured so. Reveal any number of treasure cards from your hand. Place a personal power counter on this minion for each one you revealed. Okay, so I'm going to reveal a Wand of Dowsing, Buckler of Swashing, Potion of Paralysis, Boots of Butt Kicking, and Bag of Caltrops. One, two, three, four, five. That makes eight, so an extra five on him. Okay, then I will play my action. I will play 
Boots of butt kicking on the burst. Play on a minion. You may play an extra action. This minion has plus one power. And my extra. So what are we? What are we short? Four. Four short. So I will play Justice Friends. Each of your minions of power five or more gains plus two power until the end of the turn. That's four points. The base pops. <laughs> and I cackle maniacally. <laughs> and I still have a fence in hand, which I can't play. Uh, da, da, da. So now, I, I got no specials to play, so basically he'll get 5 for 15, I'll get 3 for 14 to be one short. Yeah. So this whole thing about keeping my invaders off, one of the game, basically. Indeed, indeed, mm. indeed, okay. Well, my turn, I could have gotten the invader out, but it been, it's one turn too late. That's right. Mm. Slowed him down, no need to worry about it anymore. Um, one possibility, I could actually switch and come over here and try to pop this base, because the burst... Yeah. Can go so the cap burglar could go there and the burst would follow. Anywhere I want to I, you yeah, know there's no victory points there. <laughs> if I was worried about the sprout. Yeah. Yeah. Um also somewhere there's an ability to destroy that, but I don't have it kind of like. Anyways, uh we're at twenty five. My I don't think there's any other point. Hold on, hold on. Nope. what does this do? You played your two actions. Yeah, and what if it's a special though? Well, don't we gotta destroy a random base first? Uh, hold on. Did it just play properly? No, that's not gonna help. Yeah, so I think that is. I did have a special that does stuff, but it doesn't do stuff that matters. Good, alright. My play cards phase is over. Before the space scores, place a random base. Uh, other base, uh, whatever. You know, you, know, you know what it does. Nah, there it goes. There goes my mouse. Yeah, this was base blew up anyways. So that's actually too. So it's actually good that base blew up because I don't need the master thief anymore. Mm. Um, his invader was the only thing that was a threat to me. Okay. Dirt pits. Dirt up. pits don't matter. <laughs> and mm. I get five, which gives me fifteen. Larry gets three. Which gives him 14, and that ended up being as close as a game can be. Well, you wanted something because you stopped me from getting my invaders out. Boom. Yeah, that's... that's the little Alderaan? Boom. You know, it's that, no that, that, that's why I was so frustrated, because I knew I was, you know... I mean, I kind of made it close. I'm surprised I even beat it that close, but it was just like... Uh, so when you're playing the aliens, I always say that uh, terraforming is possibly the best card in the game because it lets yeah. you flip. So it's not really letting you win a base, it's letting you flip a base. Flip a base that you would have lost. So it's like winning two bases. Yeah, I had terraforming pretty early, so I already knew I had four points locked up there. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was so a little bit frustrated... You couldn't, you couldn't. Because I wanted, I wanted a point lead. Like, I wanted to get and a lead, and I just couldn't get that lead going. And you just locked me right down. That's good. So that's two in a row. So of the three games head-to-head -head between these two faction combos, uh, the Super Thieves have come out ahead on two of them. One was a blowout. One was very, very close. And the first one, which we had goofed up on a particular thing that was uh, also a very very close game it could have gone either way um if it's too bad we can't like rewind i actually did think about pulling the video out and like resetting the board back but the problem is we don't we know what was in the discard it. pile we don't yeah. know what was in our hands well we probably could figure out the discard pile we wouldn't figure out what the well that would be really that's yeah. true that'd be really meticulous there's yeah. no point in that but but i mean it does you know like the deck is different and everything is just different right so yeah. it doesn't really matter Good. All right. Um, so I think what well, conclusions? What what's the conclusion here? Um, Super thieves. Super thieves are uh, the deck to beat. Yeah, that's like again. I think a lot of people were questioning the thieves when they were seeing it. You know, on our posting, but the thieves, as you can see, are really powerful. Uh, they totally locked me right down. I mean, like. Well, like, that wasn't the thieves. That was actually the, that was the superheroes. The superheroes, but yeah, specifically, well, a couple of cards actually. Yeah. Um, the mind but, but the thing is, the, the thief was also getting you that one guy was killing exactly, my sprouts, too. Exactly, so. yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so the My Lady and uh, My Greatest Weakness can negate, and then the Treasure, of course, lots of things. Yeah, you had the one there to negate, too. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, it yeah. was... And then the, it was the, the, the Tiger Mount, I think. Yeah. Uh, killed two of your sprouts. Lots of little things, being able to sort of make stuff. Part of it is just recognizing that some of these cards have interesting uh, applications. Yeah. Okay, the Potion of Cowardice. That's actually a good one, because, yeah, like, it, it cancels an ability. It's, yeah. it's like Kryptonite. So, that's a good one. And even as I continue to play, the, the lots of these treasure cards, uh, they have abilities that, that come up. And as I think of thinking about the first turn I played out my Man Trap, I should have maybe gotten out that one sprout. But the thing is, I didn't think I needed it. Yeah. Yeah, I was questioning why you did that. but Yeah. Uh, but I was like, yeah, it helps. Yeah, but I kind of wanted my sprouts on this one base because I wanted to pump my power up a little bit right. and pop this base because that was my plan originally. So I wanted all my sprouts there. Yeah. I put them there because I was planning on grabbing all my collectors. So once I started getting my invaders out, I would play my invader there, use my talent to get my collector to bounce, mm -hmm. bounce it for free up so I could play it once per round, like up to four times, depending mm -hmm. on how many mm -hmm. collectors I had down there. Yeah. So again, mm -hmm. once... Uh... Uh, like I had all these plans like he just wrecked them like it was just like you know <laughs> you know like I, I had him down there like I was playing like four pull out four collectors you know four balances right there so I was thinking you know each <laughs> turn it didn't, didn't work out that's, that's why I was kind of really frustrated because because he was about to quit throw the towel you had three yeah, uh, that, I had my sprouts three here. points to my six and he's already quitting <laughs> I love it yeah I had my two here I should have accepted your defeat at that point. Anyways, <laughs> it ended up being an extremely close game. It actually could have gone either way. That's why I was... Whoa. Shoot. We'll never do this. Play properly. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, I was I was getting very uh, cautious at the end there because I could have easily blown it at the end. Uh, I was kind of hoping you would. <laughs> like, I was kind of really worried about that base, but... Yeah. So I did have the wishing ring and the fence in hand, and I was... Um, no, actually, at the, the very end, I almost did goof a little bit, because I thought about just going up and popping the base right away. So, I could have dropped a cat burglar before I played my fence, and before I played uh, the wishing ring. And by, by playing the fence and the wishing ring, that got rid of three of my treasure cards, which dropped the cat burglar's power by three points, three power. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what was So, yeah. Um, I could have held off, played the cap regular for 10, and popped the base with the fence and the wishing ring in my hand. But if I had done that, I realized if I had done that, Larry would have been sitting at 14 points. And I don't know, maybe he's got the invader in his hand that's been sitting yeah. there the whole time. And then you could have been one point, and you could have immediately won the game. So I was like, no, 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 I can't pop that base until I get 10. Yeah. I have to get 10 points, and then... So that's why that's why I never away. saw. So you never saw the other invader. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you never were able to get another sprout out. Well, until I, until the end, but no, my hand was full you, of minions, but my hand was full of never, mostly collectors. You and, uh, never were able to get a sprout that yeah. died and searched. Yeah. Just the one time in the beginning. Yeah. So, that was a success for for me for sure. Anyways, uh, last point for me. The Cat Burglars make this deck very powerful. Uh, already your superheroes are powering fives left, right, and center. The Cat Burglar, forget a five. The Cat Burglar is routinely ten. Yeah. Um, so that's you know that's on par with the Elder thing, right? Yeah. And there's no there's no you know killing other your your other minions or anything. It's it's straight up ten power. So. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, I hope I've convinced everyone that uh, the Superhero Thieves are possibly the best combo in the game. Yeah. All right. Good, Gary. A good game, Larry Lewis. Good game. Play properly. Yeah, thanks for watching the channel.